Hello and welcome to Legal Basics with Cyber Law Global and my name is Sian. We are still on the Children's Law series and today we are looking at an issue that is affecting our generation that probably did not affect our parents' generation and that is child online exploitation. To discuss this topic, we have an expert on children matters. I will let her introduce herself. My name is Nicola Bello. I work with the Cradle of the Children's Foundation. Karibu Nicola. Please explain to the viewer uh, what is child uh, exploitation and how does it happen online? Okay, so when we're talking about, it has such a long name, so it's called online child sexual exploitation and abuse. So in that field, we call it Oxair. Um, any, I'll say anything that comes under that form will be anything ideally that happens online that counts as sexual assault, sexual harassment, sexual exploitation, sexual violence. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. What form does it take? Um, considering it's online and it's it's not a person that is already here with a child. What, what 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 are some of the uh, situations where it occurs? It takes different. It takes it. It looks different. Yes. Very many mm -hmm. skills. So of course the first one. I was going to say the first one would be child pornography, mm -hmm. but the first one is actually exposing children to pornography. Yes, um, letting them see. Letting them or... see. I myself when I was. A child, I'm certain I was a child. Uh -huh. I don't know if everyone got that one first Facebook message from an Indian man and you're not sure what's going not on. You. <laughs> that one. Yes, no, and he sent a picture <laughs> oh. of uh, his parts as well. And I remember I looked and I was like, I'm not even oh, sure God. what's happening <laughs> here. <laughs> India should compensate you. Yes, sorry. and back in the day, I didn't know I had been exposed. I didn't know this um, was a form of online happy child sexual exploitation and abuse i was just like this is a very weird indian guy mm -hmm. you know so then i left the indian guy there because there's nothing that was gonna happen mm -hmm. but it takes that form mm -hmm. um any form of child pornography that's mm -hmm. a different form mm -hmm. anytime there's any form of grooming or soliciting of sexual favors from children mm -hmm. from an online platform every other day there's someone who has tried to organize to meet up with a child a child um, yes, ideally, any sharing of nude images mm -hmm. uh, between a grown-up and a child or even between mm -hmm. children, mm -hmm. that in itself is mm -hmm. online yeah. sexual abuse. What about conversation? Um, yes, as long as it forms, falls under any form of grooming, mm -hmm. any form of soliciting, Yes, ideally, grown adults should not be talking mm -hmm. to children. Mm -hmm online especially it's it's rule number one do not talk to a stranger yes so it's both in person mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. online do not talk to a stranger yeah yes and you know um i i think i think that the rot in society was just uh it just migrated to an online platform mm -hmm. because uh, recently a friend of mine up, uh, updated a status on facebook and wrote you as a woman which was the first time you remember a grown man making a sexual advance towards mm -hmm. you and we did an average of all the answers that had been provided, and the average was seven. Mm -hmm. At the age of seven, there's already girls walking on the street, and there's grown men uh, winking and saying, "Oh, you're going, you're going to have a very nice bud," things like that, and that that is abuse. Mm -hmm. So, um, really, it's just the rot in society now moved to an online platform, platform yes. where a grown person will sit on one side and tell a child, "Let me see, let me see your." Let me see your boobs, you know, something like that. Mm -hmm. uh, now, considering that now with the internet, we no longer have geographical boundaries. Mm -hmm. And as you say, a person will be seated in India and abusing you here, where your government will probably not be able to go and see them. Mm -hmm. um, are there any are there any safeguards that have been created to, 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 to protect children against uh, such abusers who pose online. Yes, mm -hmm. there are. The only issue with internet, the internet, and being online is that it is ever changing. Okay. Because it's time to be ever changing. Mm -hmm. So, of course, there are different provisions mm -hmm. 
under the data protection, under the computer abuse act, mm -hmm. um, under the sexual offenses, under all of them. Um, ideally, of course, it is criminal mm -hmm. to t attempt any form of grooming, any form of service, any form mm -hmm. online. Mm -hmm. It's just that, of course, the safeguards is where it becomes uh, harder, harder mm -hmm. especially when you're holding a particular um, entity mm -hmm. accountable mm -hmm. for allowing mm -hmm. that to go on. Mm -hmm. And even when we make steps like uh, with the data protection, mm -hmm. um, now everyone has the right to be forgotten. So yeah. you have the right to have any form of data. That Indian man exactly, exactly. You have, if any of the children's things go online, you have the right to have them removed. But we have spaces like Twitter, mm -hmm. things move in hours yeah take yes i mean hours. something can go viral exactly if someone takes a screenshot mm -hmm. you can't come and take my phone and delete the screenshot it is on my phone there's mm -hmm. nothing you're going to do about it at that point yes. so it's a bit harder mm -hmm. to measure mm -hmm. unless you ban something mm -hmm. entirely okay yes which is why some states countries have taken to banning an entire platform mm -hmm. sometimes mm -hmm. uh be it um, WhatsApp or TikTok, TikTok or something. Yeah. It's just taken out entirely because it's so hard to measure what people mm -hmm. are doing. Mm -hmm. Even um, even when data protection was done, it was done at a time when Kenyans had not seen TikTok. Mm -hmm. Then TikTok came mm -hmm. and it was beautiful in the beginning because everyone was just doing a, a little dance here, mm -hmm. a little dance there. Mm -hmm. And then all of a sudden we're being talk told about TikTok lives mm -hmm. at night. Okay. You know? And unless you're sleeping in the room where your child is sleeping, you have no control mm -hmm. over what they're watching and people are going there to, mm -hmm. for lack of a better word, really just have sexual intercourse live, yeah. where orderly or whatever mm -hmm. form it while is or shown that watching. part while the children are watching. Mm -hmm. So it becomes harder at oh. that point. Okay. Um, we are also living in a world where things are very sexualized. Yes. Uh, advertisements, even of food. I mean... Even a very non-sexual thing, mm -hmm. uh, advertisements of shoes and clothes and cars mm -hmm. uh, have become very sexualized. Uh, do you think this is a contributor to to children start, to, to children not being in a place where they recognize this as exploitation? Because it's all over them. Such mm -hmm. that their subconscious, when they finally find a person online uh, who asks them to do something or to show them something, mm -hmm. because they've seen them seen it in the media. It no longer shocks their conscience because it's so much, it's so all over. Yes, that is true. And I'm not sure what we can do about that. We have uh, something going around right now called NPCs. Mm -hmm. And it's a fun space, but there's one particular um, individual who's known. Uh -huh. or she'll basically repeat words that people ask for her to, to, to yeah. repeat. Uh -huh. So I don't know, pick chair. So she'll uh -huh. say chair and it's in a very animated uh -huh voice and mm -hmm. it's you can try in that voice mm -hmm. it's very <laughs> uh -huh. it's it's a weird thing and then she'll go yes 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 and mm -hmm. stuff like that okay. and it is it is ideally when you watch it it is harmless she doesn't take off any clothes or anything mm -hmm. but the content is used by men mm -hmm. to um no, as a children. fetish ideally oh. and so when you when your child sees that and mm -hmm. brings it up as a trend and puts it out there mm -hmm. not knowing exactly what it's being where it comes used for mm -hmm. and i saw she recently got um now a brand deal mm -hmm. you know and the brand deal is under the phrases that she uses mm -hmm. and uh, so yes i can see how it's really that a lot of things that can be sexualized and it's without you knowing that they're sexualized yeah and it idea truly it looks Harmless. It's mm -hmm. one of the most harmless forms, but mm -hmm. like the children have seen harmless monsters, harmless monsters. By the time they find that real monster, they don't recognize it that it's a harmless monster. monster. And yeah. sometimes even the parents and, didn't. And now it's a no, it's a monster. monster. Yes. Now, aside from the safeguards that have now put uh, by government, I've, I've, I mean, I've seen uh, in Kenya we've tried to criminalize this, and a couple of people have been uh, taken to prison. Mm -hmm. But now, aside from those safeguards that have put by governments and by the international community. Um, on this other side, where you know, the person will be the guardian of this child, the parent, and uh, in this age and time, it's hard to tell your child, I will not give you a mobile phone mm -hmm. because you need to communicate with them. For example, uh, my son's school will give them homework. 
Yeah. And ask them to take a screenshot and send to the teacher. Mm-hmm. So I can't have him use my phone mm-hmm. anymore. So he has had to get a phone with Ty. So sitting on this side now and uh, being the parent or the guardian that has to ensure that this child is not exploited, mm-hmm. uh, what safeguards can I put in the home, home space? Uh, of course, first you have to start with conversation, even though it helps some it leaves the others uh-huh. behind uh-huh. um there are a few things we pass off even as normal that are not ideally normal like uh-huh. um for any child uh-huh. who is ideally a child and a child is up till 18 uh-huh. who say for example uses youtube and not youtube kids uh-huh. yes okay. they may not be engaging with harmful content uh-huh. but even the there's a potential there's a potential there uh-huh. For something even though youtube has really gone out of its way with its yeah I'm safe guys but on every yeah. ideally on every space mm-hmm. there's a risk so you have to start by talking to your child mm-hmm. um i'll still use myself as an example at the time when the indian man sent me mm-hmm. what he sent me i was <laughs> we can give that thing a name of okay. yes i was i know <laughs> An image, a graphic, <laughs> call it a graphic. Uh-huh. At the time he sent it, one, I was unaware that was online sexual abuse. Uh-huh. And two, I was unaware of where I can report. Okay. So even if it reaches a point where your child is using a phone, does your child know what the, um, what, is, what okay, that platform what has? Okay. Yes. Or what, uh, that, this that platform line? has to report. Okay. Do they know where they can report? Because uh-huh. maybe they could not come and run to you and show you. Uh-huh. But if it's as simple as them reporting this particular account mm-hmm. and for this form of very content, cool. exactly. Yeah, to show your so child. Show if you're on Facebook and someone this sends this. Button. Exactly. If you're on TikTok, this is the report button. Yeah. Actually, okay. that, that makes sense. Sense. I didn't tell my mom it went okay. away. So just how much, because we're saying there's a reality of mm-hmm. our ch- of children, mm-hmm. our society. <laughs> I mean, yeah, all our reality yeah. of our children on these social media platforms, and it's not going away. <laughs> and even with the times of COVID, mm-hmm. we, they literally had to study online. Yeah, you know. Yeah. So, yeah. did the parents go out of their way to show them mm-hmm. if you interact with anything mm-hmm. that is sexual in any form, this is where you go, this is where oh, you really click immediately, you mm-hmm. know, mm-hmm. then come and mm-hmm. let me know what was happening. This, this, this was the situation. Uh-huh. So, I think that's a first step as parents Mm -hmm. and then there's also the conversation you know every time we speak to our children we speak to them with the assumption that they could be the prey and not the predator exactly Um, and and actually (laughs) we now we think children become perpetrated exactly all the time because Mm -hmm. yes again i myself have been asked for nudes in my childhood Mm -hmm. yes Mm -hmm. by people who are my peers so at that point i no no (laughs) (laughs) thank <laughs> <laughs> god all oh, that no, we did not send uh-huh. but i don't think they understood what they were doing i didn't uh-huh. understand what they were doing so okay for me what the indian man sent had uh-huh. more weight than this request that was coming from my peer but uh-huh. ideally they're the same yeah. thing both so of them yeah, being a puppet exactly yeah attempting to get uh-huh. nude images yeah. from me and yeah. I don't know if they understood the weight mm-hmm. so are we talking to our children only as prey yeah or also and we're forgetting that they yes, as victims they could be perpetrators they could be victims so I'm yeah. telling them you can't ask someone for <laughs> the nude image do not ask for people you naked. don't you don't ask for naked for why are you asking for you naked? shouldn't you should photos. not want to see them. exactly yeah do not attempt to sex anyone yeah because that's a different mm-hmm. conversation ideally mm-hmm. um so I think it starts from parents, then it goes to the schools. Mm-hmm. I think every time an institution mm-hmm. wants to push for something, mm-hmm. the way, say, over COVID, there was no option mm-hmm. but to go online, yeah. it has to be followed immediately with a child protection policy. What are you, how are every you, in every school. single school? Okay. Yes. So that if we're sitting down to explain to parents, this is how we use our Zoom, mm-hmm. then this is also how we... You, you know, know glad that we've mentioned it, yeah. schools because um, I sit in the board of a couple of schools mm. and one particular school, we had a problem with a teacher uh, who used to have this conversation with students when they were on holiday. And yet these students are children. I mean, they're under 18 and they're children. So the Sorry. perpetrator could be the person right next to you exactly. that we think should be guiding the children. Yeah. 
Um, and this policy should should also apply to the staff as well as the the children. Mm-hmm. Yeah, mm-hmm. it should. Mm-hmm. It should what be. what other safeguards do you feel us as a country or even even us as people who want to protect our children should be keen about putting in? Place? Um, I think you know they make these jokes normally about. Uh, I don't know if you've seen these reels mm-hmm. where my family counting on me as the savior when they don't know how to fix any. You know, any yeah. online something because uh-huh. your parents are older. So oh, yeah. And understand yeah. Mm-hmm. how so to they call it. Come, come, come. Exactly. Come upload a photo. Exactly. Yeah. I think you, from a parent to a guardian side, I think you should only let your child use something mm-hmm. that you have an understanding to. Okay. We if you don't a, understand TikTok, don't. Then your children, then your children shouldn't be on TikTok because how can you protect them? But this, from that's that. sustainable because the neighbor's kids are on TikTok. Yes. Yeah. The class basis of TikTok. I think so because there's that inevitability. Now, we, are we saying we want the parents to be good at video transitions and all the trends? No, I would think we, that's, that's better. I, that's I think better. that's more reasonable. If if we as a parent had to study how every platform works, mm-hmm. I think that makes more sense than to tell my child because I don't understand this. You can't be. So I'll say. It is. It makes more sense for the parent to learn. Mm-hmm. We're not asking the parent to know how to do video transitions. Mm-hmm. We're not asking the parent to hop on every mm-hmm. trend. We're asking the parent to to be on the be lookout. aware. Just be aware of how these things work. Because even on gaming, uh, when it comes to gaming, mm-hmm. every other time I have a little brother, they'll be playing a game, mm-hmm. and he'll be talking to somebody on the other line, mm-hmm. which many children do. Mm-hmm. Many, many gamers do. Yeah, yeah. But when it comes to children, I don't know who's on the other line. I have no idea. A perpetrator. It could be a perpetrator. I mm-hmm. don't know exactly what they're saying. Mm-hmm. And that's a beautiful time when they're using earphones. So really, I couldn't hear even if I wanted to hear yeah. what they're saying. Mm-hmm. And uh, then sometime a game came and we have these gaming platforms like Discord and the likes mm-hmm. where we can still have conversation. Yeah. So how much do you know about what your children I do. Oh, uh, you know. So yeah. I think the unfortunate reality is parents have to go an extra step. Mm-hmm. If you're going to allow your child to you have, this gadget. have these gadgets, mm-hmm. you have to go the extra step. You have to know what it looks like mm-hmm. and how danger could come mm-hmm. from it and have a conversation around it. Because even just to take away a bit from online sexual mm-hmm. abuse, mm-hmm. we have these different trends where children have tried and they've died. Oh, yeah. 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 The awards. Take it. Seen some who are planning to it's, to express it. exactly, yeah. and so all these things. Unfortunately, um, it's just it's more responsibility, but you have to be this on guard, you choice. know, or you have to. I don't know if parents work together. Mm-hmm. If there's something one parent hears of, just let everybody else know no. the children are be are up to this. Mm-hmm. Figure this out because they will interact with it, mm-hmm. but they need to know what to do okay. when they see it. Okay. Yes. In, on on the legislative platform, mm. um, do you feel like there's a, there's a gap in our legislative system that needs to handle this problem? I think I think the gap starts so far back because mm-hmm. there's even a gap between the number of cases yeah. and how many are reported. Yeah, yeah. So already, and even after reporting, very few, are very few are prosecuted. And even after violation, exactly, very so it's few are sentenced. <laughs> Okay. So there's an issue already yeah. with how we could get justice for anyone mm-hmm. who's been a victim. And I've always said, saying, yeah. having a person as an example always solves a problem. Yes. Like the moment you say this one went in for 60 years, this one is in for, for life, yes. this one is in for 20, it always makes the other perpetrator ask himself, am I am I ready mm-hmm. to eat cabbage in committee? Yes. And then it's easy to forget yeah. the effects. Mm-hmm. Say. Even when it comes to cyberbullying or revenge mm-hmm. uh, pornography where some people's pictures mm-hmm. are posted online. I just a few months ago, there was a young lady, she's a young lady now, mm-hmm. whose pictures were posted online. And she was explaining that even at the point they were being posted, being posted she was underage, you know, oh. yeah, at the time okay. when they were being mm-hmm. posted. There's such a quickness mm-hmm. with which... I don't know how to call it. The media is consumed. Yeah. And then very done, done like our way with. Yeah. And because it's not something you're seeing, it's very easy to forget the victim mm-hmm. at that point. Because now we moved to whatever is trending. Yeah. Next. Mm-hmm. Whatever is trending next. Mm-hmm. And 
everyone else has moved on, but the victim has not moved on. It's a constant reminder. Mm-hmm. And it just takes anyone having that information. Mm-hmm. Anytime you have a disagreement that could have nothing to do with what's happening, mm-hmm. it'll just okay. prop back up. So to wrap it up, yeah. um, maybe we'll discuss a little preventive uh, measures. measures yeah. Maybe we need to look at uh, curative. Mm-hmm. So um, there's all the safeguards on the national or the international platform, mm-hmm. even at home. Mm-hmm. But uh, despite all this, your child has been exposed somehow. Mm-hmm. Somebody has said something that is wrong and you're afraid it's going to affect maybe their mind or their sexuality. Mm-hmm. And there's, a whole, uh, there's a whole range of issues that could happen. What are, what are some of the things that you could do in terms of psychosocial support to to make sure that the child is still well? The first thing I'm going to say is... Um... Of course, there's actual psychosocial support. There are very many spaces that offer free therapy therapy <laughs> for children who've undergone something like that. <laughs> and then there's a way people forget that you can actually remove social media platforms. Okay. From the from phone. phone. Yeah. yeah. Just remove that <laughs> space yeah. from your child. <laughs> Um, if it's something that's got into the school, you may need to have the school mm-hmm. uh, be aware and guide the other students on how to interact with your child mm-hmm. um sometimes if it's um too if the case has gone too far up because sometimes the bullying is coming from a student in school in school in yeah at time mm-hmm. i think the thing i'd encourage is always uh they can take a break from school. children can take a break from school mm-hmm. education is important i agree mm-hmm. but it's not everything it's not everything function. it is not your mental yeah help mm-hmm. at that point um and just for parents to not stop following up, there's a way in for a child, mm-hmm. even just that you heard and you took the seriousness that yes. it yeah. comes with that in itself is enough. It validates the the, the, the issue, the emotion yes, exactly. towards it. Yeah. So make sure it doesn't end at some point. Take action. Exactly. Okay. Sometimes it ends at let's remove the student, mm-hmm. let's remove our child from the school. That's mm-hmm. fine. But make sure whoever was hurting your child in that school has, has also had some form of consequence so yeah. that your child can understand and knows it's a lot right for this exactly exactly. exactly all right uh, that brings us to the end of our episode i think that was a wonderful conversation uh, viewers uh, there's lots you can do at home uh, there's lots you can do um if if the viewers have any questions for you uh, how can they contact you they can email me at info at the cradle.ke yes or they can call the cradle line yes all right and if you have any questions or compliments or complaints for us, you can um, write to us at info at smlawafrica.com. That's info at smlawafrica.com. You can also write to us at, uh, through our old Gmail address. That is sirenlowglobal at gmail.com. Take care of yourselves. Take care of your children. Be on the lookout about what they are exposed to because it can affect their mind in the long run. Keep well. From us, it's goodbye. Okay.